All right, so let's go ahead and start. We just set the eggs aside. We turn that to the pan. So I'm going to be a little crunchy niblets in this one because I did burn that. There is a way to clear the pan, but I don't know that. So you want to kind of go with the onions until it gets kind of fragrant. <laughs> And I doubt this is what you would see in a Chinese restaurant. <laughs> it's good and it's hearty and you can mix it up. You can, these are just frozen rinsed peas and carrots, which was the recipe I learned with, but you can add just about anything you like. Just make sure it's fresh. And um, you're also going to want to uh, make sure you put a cover over at some point in the beginning um, to steam the vegetables too, if you use like fresh vegetables. And this wok is neat because if you can see the food itself is not really getting impacted by it. I think the even flavor or the even cooking is happening just fine. Right. I'm going to give it about a minute if on the um, onions. You can even crank, not crank, but you could turn up the heat just a skosh too if you need to. I kind of started on like a medium high and build my way up. But this is a good spot to land because it's really not smoking, it's steaming. And so it's a good temperature. You just keep it stirring and hence the name. So I'm just using some diced ham, um, but I've used this with uh, pork tenderloin, chicken, never done it with beef, but I'm sure that would be yummy too. Not really good with brown meat. Just go ahead and start that. And good stir. something that I like to use instead of soy sauce. It's liquid aminos. It actually has um, some good health qualities that are beneficial. Just to sneak some extra nutrition into your stir fry and not so, not so much sodium. And you don't want to get to the point where your vegetables are like burning or brown. Uh, you want to use enough oil to kind of get you through the duration, so a couple of tablespoons at the beginning should serve you just right. Smell the difference, and you can start to smell the ham. It's time to add this cooled rice. Where I go there, and a splash of this goodness, and some salt and pepper. See how that separates? That's because the rice has been cooled 
if the rice was hot, you just made it right before it would just get mushy. And again, the key to a yummy stir fry is cooking it high heat and fast, but using dry ingredients to get as much moisture out of them um, before you throw them into the stir fry. Okay. And last but not least, you have your eggs. And you could at this point turn off the heat. Give it one last stir. Do you see why I high sided pan? <laughs> 